G'day guys, uh, sorry if I didn't upload this video because I was too busy doing some working and do some like the videos I had to do for that one before it has to go to YouTube slowly, like uh, MotoGP 18 career mode for that one, so I'm sorry for that one, so I hope you accept my apology for so on. So we're here off this one now for the AOR Hype Energy Oceana F2 League, and uh, we're here for round 4 and 5 for that one, so... We're doing two for that one, and uh, yeah, it's a bit of a uh, change already of, with my helmets already. So, what are you going to do until you see this? Bam, there you are, that one. So, as you can see, it's pink that one because we are doing the breast cancer uh, for all the women already who just got a cancer for, with breasts or breasts already. So, tribute to that one now. Hopefully, I make it on the podium. So, this could happen in that one now. So, here we are on the. Um, Qualified for that one. This is probably this is my uh, fastest lap race. So turn one, go third gear for that one, and uh, just go straight from this one now. And then breaking into this one, go to second. If not, you can go to third gear for that one. Open up the DRS flat for that one. And um, this is a really, really tough circuit for that one. Now. And then break here for that one now, and you go to third gear. If not, you can go to fourth for that one. Then break into that one. You can go to third. If not, you can go to fourth. So I prefer just like go to third. That one, so it would be a lot more quicker. Just want to break here if I go to third, and then the next one you can break into second gear, and then um, well yeah, this is pretty much insane for that one. Then you had to break here in the hardest corner of that one, second gear. Just avoid those barriers, right? Now this one is pretty tricky. If you're new to F1, if it's one that you can't pass the back, you see circuit. Well, here's your thing, that one. S drop down to third gear if you want to. And then, um, yeah, this one is fun. Then it's going to be the fast left-handed session, not once, but twice. So, down here's this one, break to third gear. And, uh, as you can see, is my teammate Caesar, who is definitely slowed down. Let me go through that, I appreciate that. And, uh, we're now six rate, we're dropped down to third gear. And, uh, I can see in the delta sign, we're like four tenths in the sector two, that one. But I'm not sure... Um, how on earth it just happened because we just pick up the pace so good comparing to the super softs because to the super softs is not very good for that one but across the line we go we set a lap time of 1 minute 39.3 it was improvements already against infinite march because infinite march was not that quick for that one so here was the qualifying result caesar goes on pole with rim and hassa because the uh, the top two in second and third place both got grid penalties for no reason for this one. And of course, Mortney has got grid penalties, which means Booktoes will go to second, Spilly in fifth, uh, uh, well, third, and myself in fourth place. Because it's an all Ferrari engines top four lockout. So this is pretty insane for this one. The front row is nearly it was like was my my teammate and a salba which is ferrari pounded by the ferrari engine will be starting on pole and uh of course it is the one and only ferrari in third and of course the haas in fourth place that one so all ferrari engines in the top two rows that one will be starting off that one and um despite for that one Hopefully we may get a good stuff for someone now. And we're about to get ready for someone because the formation of the lap starts so on it. And it's time for the Azerbaijan Grand Prix, or shall I say, European Grand Prix. And so it's out and away we go here. The Azerbaijan Grand Prix, we've got to a terrible start. And if the march has got off to a good start, attacks Billy! I think I spelled really right that one. Yes, the world be that one. So we're now up to third place already, just behind Fuktos and my teammate Caesar. But you notice he was a reserve driver for that one. And uh, oh yeah, so we're now in third place already. Then it's Rim in fourth place. It's just got through of Infinite March and of course Billy, who both made contact at the start of the race. That one. Now through the castle sessions. We're getting close to Fuktos to try to make an overtake already for second place. And so we'll make a Haas 1-2 finish. But unfortunately, the virtual safety car came because uh, Lab already has uh, retired from the sessions. 
So that's probably why the virtual safety car comes in for that one. And there was a bunch of drivers who were coming into the pits uh, for a soft compound tyres. They're trying to make a, a two-stop already to try and make a cheeky undercut on the drivers already who was on the who everyone else is going on the ultra so i've thought i've should have just like gone in and go to the softs and probably got to go with a uh, soft to super softs that would be good for that one but instead i have to go with the plan a for that one just stick behind for toes and then just trying to go for this one because you know rim is really fast already at baku for that one so you probably know rim is pretty good for that one so I don't want to hold him up too much, Ray. When I said that, I've caught the back end, but I caught it, and now Rim's catching up. But I don't want to hold him up so bad, that one. I'll just give him enough space, Ray. So he goes to the inside line that he is normally goes for this one out, and has that coming out of nowhere to try to make a three wide. Here it comes. There he goes, three wide into the straight, ready where the DRS zone is. Has to set the fastest lap of the race, and that is. Has a, got into third place, got the both of them. He got the pair of them into the first corner of that one. But I was lucky for Hezer. He's now in third place already. And now lap six. We're now struggling with those rear tires. That's why Spilly's caught up on the back of it. As you can see why. Uh, yeah, caught to the back end. And then, um, yeah, just show the, the results already. The rear tires are roasted. They just got eaten by a dog. Yeah, I don't know how that happened, but it is what it is, that one. But anyway, Spilly comes into the pits alongside with me. And of course, Rim came into the pits. I forgot about Rim. Rim just came into the pits. He's on the Ultra Softs. Now he's going to the Softs. That's sick for that one. Rixie hasn't even made a stop because he's on the Super Softs, so that's good. Spilly's on the Softs. I'm on the Softs. Uh, we know we can try to go with the... The ult we're gonna go with the ultra soft softs to super softs that I was trying to make us go well for that one, but uh, we'll just find out for that one. So, lap nine of the virtual safety car again, it's because Sparks again retires from the session. So, so that was a bad luck for Sparks already, who did not go on to the points but retired from the race. And the virtual safety car ended for that one. That's pretty simple, fat one. Into the cast session, you have to be careful, fat one. And Azza, who's already caught to the back of me because he did not make a stop. So, uh, yeah, fair play, fair play. But why are you at the back of me? Are you supposed to come into the pits? Like, sooner or later, fat one? You might be, fat one, because... So, here we are, lap 11. Azza's trying to go for the overtake down the inside already. This is probably where the overtake spot was. But I just had another bit to go side by side with him. A little bit of argy bargy for that one. Going hammered, hammered, hammered Tom into the, well, chicane, that one. But as a back off that one, and he has to confirm already. He needs to, like, a, a good overtake. So he, he wanted to get to the top five overtakes of the week by... Pure Ryan Contrast or Ryan Littlemore for that one, if you want to post that one now. Uh, as I assume that, Mortney retired from the session. I do forget about Mortney for that one. And Spoon for that one now. Rixie got past and it comes into the pits. And as a slipstream with the DRS, and I think he got the overtake mode. I think it might be because I can't see through his point of view for that one. And he got the job done. Very good job by Azza for that one. Really, really good job using the. Uh, rich, or I think it was like the overtake mode and the rich film mix and DRS. He done a pretty good job that one. Fair play to you. Just over a bit of a clap. So good job that one. And we're trying to overtake him, but no, I don't prefer to go for the overtake. And I just stick behind as a as long as we can go for that one. But we head over to the castle session, so lap 14. And yeah, that uh, this is the reason why the castle session is pretty tricky that one. You don't want to break your front wing, fat one. So that's probably the reason why you got to get your damaged front wing, fat one. So I got a major front wing damage already. So I had to come into the pits to go into the super softs and change my front wing. Because my front wing will not got to go well, fat one. Actually, Azza comes to the pits to go to the super softs. What? I mean, does Azza know he's going to do the supers to the end? I mean... I mean, yeah, fair play for someone, but I'm not sure if you can do this. 
because oh you're on a flag in turn two fat one here comes the the lap car the Renault I'm not sure who it was oh as a spun what happened there <coughs> I need a drink after that because wow pretty much the same start anyway lap 19 we're going to the back of the lap uh, not lap uh, we're going to the back of the AI Spilly who just unfortunately left the session fat one and uh, lap 27 has a retires has a retires from the session so this could be a podium for me so rims up to second so if I pass Hazard then that means I'm gonna be in third place at one and here we are third place just back at the last time already just like when Infinite March retired back in uh, season 14 uh, I think it was a Japanese Grand Prix when he retired from the race gave me the podium positions and yeah that is probably the reason why I want so as you can see that across the line was for the final lap of the race in third place behind a uh, rim because he's too far forward and he's now right he's now right ahead of the lap infinite march and despite that one i would like to give a round of applause to uh well your boy in the Haas F1 team with a number 69 for this one, courtesy of Nicky Hayden. And using a breast cancer tribute for that one, we're going to use all the ERS that we can for this one, using all the fuels that we can to cross the line to finish third place in the Apex on a Racing Hype Energy Oceana F2 League. And that is a great job for me. That was my third podium in total for that one. No chance already to, for me getting a win in the Grand Prix. But if I want to, that will be a chance for that one. So, it's going to be a tough one for that one. I never won a Grand Prix, but I'll take a podium for that one in Baku. Because Baku is pretty tough. And especially if you're Haas, like Caesar, you could do a pretty good job for that one. But it said, uh, if you're like me or Brim, you could try to get a crash at the barriers for that one. So, that will be interesting. So, Caesar wins the Grand Prix, followed by Wim, then myself in third place, then Spilly as the AI for that one. There's Tortoise, who was also the reserve driver. Uh, Azza, 6th. Fukto, 7th. Infinite March, 8th. Rixi, 9th. And Daz in the top 10 for that one. But, as a rooster for that one now, Rixi and Daz were in the top 10. They uh, both retired from this session, so that means they will not get into the points. So, as you can tell by the points, um, you, will see, you will see the results already for someone on the board for that one. Compared to that one now, so here's the reason for that one. Yeah. Top two are uh, not going to get the points that one because they crashed out. Actually, Rixie got the points already. So fair play to Rixie for that one. So we're going to head over to the Spanish Grand Prix for round five. Hola amigos, it's time for round five of the AOR High Energy Oceani F2. Which you probably know for this one now, the last rest already, we already got the podium already. So, thanks. That one so this is that was like my three third podium I just ever got for someone so here we are for round five of the Spanish Grand Prix not one of the best tracks already that I can personally say that one because Spanish is not one of my things already that I can just relate to to say that one because I know it's a, a home favorite of Fernando Alonso and Carlos Sainz's hometown in Barcelona. Not in Barcelona, but I think it was made to say it's um hometown in the Spanian, that one. So, yeah, here we are qualifying. Uh, this is my second run for this one now, so we'll try to get a lap time for this one. So, open up a DRS using Hot Lap. So, I recognize on the map 212's videos already, so this is probably the reason why I would have thought the next episode comes already. So, I launch straight away, break there for this one, go to fourth gear. If not, you can go to third gear. Then you have to go for the next left hander for that one. Then to the fast right hander for that one. This is pretty, pretty tricky for this one. If you cannot do that, you can slow down for that one. And then break here for this one. Before the tunnel for that one, fourth gear, you can try to go for this one. So, you can see we're up by four tenths already. And break here to go down to third gear or second if you want to. So this is pretty good for someone to get a good exit for that one. So you don't want to lose the back end for someone now. Then break here just be just after the curb array fourth gear. You almost oh you almost lose the back end for someone now. And you can release the throttle there just to keep going for that one. Look at how much speed I can go for. We've got by seven tenths. Make that eight tenths. Break here to go to second gear. 
then you can go through here for this one just before the old circuit of the Spanish Grand Prix for this one then you can break here for this one now to go to third gear it's pretty tricky for that one that you had to break gear to go to fourth if not third gear for this one it's pretty tricky for this one then you had to break for second gear then you got to go to the next one and then the next one is the fast right hand sections already across the line for this one open up the RS cross line we got a 1 minute 18.276 not that fast already, but I'll take that. So, top five in this one, just behind my uh, reserve teammate, Caesar, who also won, like, a couple of races already. So, it's Prime Steam Ray in the reserve driver, takes the pole, followed by another reserve driver is Tortoise. I heard of him before, this one, just before he made his debut, that one. Then it's Spilly, Caesar, and myself, Hazard, Rim, uh, Infinite March, Jack, and Azza will make the top 10 in qualifying, that one. So here we go to the grid, fat one, and you can see it's nice and sunny and shining, fat one here in Barcelona. And um, I'm doing the two two stops already. I'm starting with the supers, go to the softs, and go all the way to the mediums to the end. Now this is pretty tricky, fat one. Those like uh, super softs are pretty much dead for this one. So we head over to the grid, and it's time for the Spanish Grand Prix. And it's lights out, and away we go. Another terrible start again for me, that one. This is not the good start that I can go for to get a launch, that one. Side by side, oh wait, uh, three wide between Hazard and Rim, that one. And off goes, uh, whatever it was. Oh, and uh, there goes my front wing. And uh, all the bunch of, <laughs> oh my god, bunch of drivers already was like going off the track, going on the track. I don't know which one it was of that one, but anyway, actually, Sparkles uh, just lost it. Even Jack as well just lost it at turn four. So that is a controvert. That is not a good start for this one now. In the Oceana F2, that one. This is not the way for someone. As you can see, the pink. Uh, car that one that is Mortney he he's lagging all over the place I don't know how or I don't know when it's like that you can see that that's one bar if you can look at on Mortney fat one he's on one bar if you can look at answers he's nowhere near one bar he's nowhere near one barring but Mortney was the one who was lagging so that's the problem already and Mortney's lost control and he's gone well not gone he's not retired from the session but he's still going he's still going fat one and, uh, well, we're trying to fight for it, so we're not going to lose some points already for that one. So, for the, on the final one, no! I ran a little bit deep, and I went off the track, and then I hit the walls and damaged my half front wing. Not a full of front wings, because that is going to be impossible for that one. So, anyway, I have to box in that lap already, because... I can't get into the pits already on lap number one because there's no way. And look at Mortney. See what I told you about the lag? <laughs> the lag was real. No joke, the lag is real. So, yeah, unfortunate of that one. So, on that lap, that one, this is a couple of seconds later, but I try to pull sessions waiting for that one. And Jack is right behind me, so close. I think I made him damage my. I think I made him damage my his front wings, and it kind of damaged my gearbox. That might be the one for that one. So I apologise, Jack. If you're watching this, I'm so sorry if I damage your front wing for this one. Uh, anyway, we're coming into the stops. Even Jack comes in as well to repair uh, my front wing and his front wing, and we got and we're both going on the super softs again. So, so kind of a shameful thing already because like. I've done some like struggles in the Spanish Grand Prix and not the uh, any other tracks for that one because Spanish Grand Prix is not one of the greatest ones like I just said in the qualifying that one so uh, we're on to lap number five and Jack is caught right at the back of me so uh, yeah I got a exceeding track limit I was going full throttle but I'm running it a bit too high for that one and lost nearly lost control but I caught it and let Jack through. So that is unfortunate. Even Jack run wide 
No positions lost for him, but I got the position lost by running wide at turn three. And uh, a couple seconds later, that is the a lot of problems already. I didn't court it, but I lost it. Well, well, I, basically, I was frustrated in the in the party for someone. I can't just like do anything for that one. There's nothing I can do. And just before I was heading into my uh, second stop, I nearly hit the speed limit, so that was a pretty close one. And right now, we're about to come in for a pit stop already. I want to continue on the most, that one, and that is the soft compound tires. I'm pretty sure no one else used the soft compound tires already. So we are joining right uh, behind of Azza, who didn't... Unfortunately, he did not make a stop on one, and he's got a little bit of lag for that one, so... Yeah, for one, and he lost control, and we're out. We're out of the Spanish Grand Prix. Uh, bad, bad time for me. I'm having a bad time already in the Spanish Grand Prix, so... Yeah, not the greatest one, but the bad one. Yeah. But season one, the Grand Prix, that's fine. Followed by the one and the other uh, Brian Steam Rate. He was going so quick, but he unfortunately he got a penalty and gave Caesar the victory and put him into second place. So that's probably the reason why that that just happened for that one. So we're going to show you the results already. So Caesar wins, followed by Prime Steam Rate, Rim, Spilly, Hazard, as a Infinite March, Jack. Sparkle and Lab rounds up the top 10. So that is it for round 4 or 5 of the Apex on the Racing Hype Energy for Swans. Hopefully next time you will see me for Swan now. And I'll see you next time for the brand new video of some more AOR Hype Energy Oceana.